We've removed the final piece of the north plug, the concrete wall that was separating the New Dawn River from the lake. With this last step, we've completed a one kilometer long extension of the Dawn River, and a new island is born. In Toronto's port lands, south of Lakeshore, post-industrial lands have been sitting vacant because during a major storm, they're at risk of severe flooding from the Don River. That's why the Portland's Flood Protection Project is so transformational. 290 hectares of Toronto's southeastern downtown currently sit in the floodplain of the Don River. The blue area on this map shows the area that could be overwhelmed with water that comes rushing down the Don River during a major storm. That includes some of Toronto's established neighborhoods. Our innovative approach to flood protection keeps the water south of Lakeshore where it belongs, in the new river and wetlands. With tri-government collaboration, this historic feat of engineering removes 240 hectares of land from the floodplain. This significant milestone is a big leap toward building a new waterfront city with homes for more than 100,000 people along the eastern waterfront, including a brand new island where the best of life and the best of Canada converge. The tri-government model for waterfront revitalization has been successful for over 20 years, creating an inspiring example of city building. We're putting housing within reach and unlocking a healthy future on the waterfront, where living and playing merge into boundless experiences of discovery. Toronto's waterfront will become a must-see Ontario destination for visitors across Canada and the world. This future starts right now on Toronto's brand new island. Next year, you will be able to explore the vibrant new park system the biggest park to open in Toronto in a generation.